I'm Matt Gelka in Washington, where the pressure is building over whether or not an ethics report on Matt Gates, Donald Trump's pick for attorney general, should be released. The fate of Donald Trump's pick for attorney general, former Congressman Matt Gates, may be decided by whether or not an ethics report sees the light of day. Gates was accused of sexual misconduct with a minor and illegal drug use, leading to not only the ethics investigation, but a Justice Department investigation that didn't lead to charges. Gates has denied wrongdoing. The Biden Department of Justice investigated Matt Gates for years, and they cleared him of any wrongdoing. The lawyer for the alleged victims says his clients told the Ethics Committee Gates paid them for sex. The testimony uh, before the House was yes, that um, Representative Gates paid my client, uh, both of my clients, for sexual favors throughout the summer of 2017 all the way to the beginning of 2019. Trump is reportedly personally pressuring senators to confirm Gates. Ex-owner Elon Musk, who has become a part of Trump's inner circle, posted a defense of the former congressman, saying Matt Gates has three critical assets that are needed for the AG role, a big brain, a spine of steel, and an ax to grind, before calling him a hammer of justice. Republicans take control of the Senate in January and could ultimately decide Gates's attorney general future. A growing number of GOP senators believe they should have access to the ethics report before deciding on an up or down vote on Gates. We've got to have as much transparency as we can. I think it would be helpful. Everybody's talking about it. It apparently was just about done. We'll treat them like we've treated all others with a proper vetting. House Speaker Mike Johnson has openly advocated against releasing the report after Gates's resignation. I don't want to open a Pandora's box. We're in a, we're in a different era, okay? The House Ethics Committee is expected to further discuss the Gates report on Wednesday as pressure on the group builds over whether or not to release it publicly or just to senators for the confirmation process. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.